There's a lot of new grads coming out of school and they're curious about travel therapy, but they're nervous to take the leap of faith. In today's video, we're going to share with you why we chose to travel as new grads. For us, traveling was an opportunity that we just couldn't pass up. We got married while we were still in PT school, which, which is a little crazy. <laughs> yeah, but we survived. Um, and we thought about travel one to two years before we graduated. And then we graduated in the same profession, obviously, because we both do the same thing. And we didn't have any kids and we didn't own a home. So there was no reason for us not to try travel. Yeah, we just had little responsibility if you want to call it that and we felt like you know really the question for us was why not yeah so travel offers a lot of unique opportunities some of which is the ability to travel the united states learn from clinicians coast to coast and maximize our earning potential yeah so travel therapy has allowed us to adventure to places that normally we probably wouldn't have had the time to go to right so we lived in Montana for our first six months of travel. We saw tons and tons of places. Oh, so much. National parks, parts of Idaho, parts of Washington. And what was unique is we'd go on a weekend adventure that would typically be like a paid time vacation for us if we were in a full-time position. And it was really just a quick weekend trip. Right. So like Glacier National Park, we had the opportunity to live about two hours away from there and normally Glacier is amazing enough that you would take a full week mm -hmm. of your paid vacation you know that you only get like two weeks a year at most permanent positions and you would have taken a full week to go there and let me tell you it It'd would have be been worth it, it. <laughs> um, but it was really cool that we had the opportunity since our contract was close enough that we could go on the weekend and we went up there I think three different weekends. And with us being from Missouri it's definitely a place that we would never make it to unless we did make it a priority to go and spend a week up in that area. So it was a really cool opportunity. Another benefit is the opportunity to learn from clinicians all over the country and this was another thing we really benefited from at our first location in Montana. We were in a rural clinic, so we ended up seeing a lot of different diagnoses and really expanded our knowledge and our ability to practice those skills. Things like wound care, pediatrics, geriatrics, amputee training, ambulation training, joint replacement, all of those things and more you got a little touch of and it expanded our ability as new grads to be able to see all different types of patients. And I would even say it increased our confidence because I know going into it, it seems scary. Like, well, I'm not too into that specialty or I haven't worked with that too much, but we had really great physical therapists around us that mm -hmm. we could ask questions. We have great professors that we can always kind of rely back on and shoot an email about, you know, how do you work with this neurological patient? And once we kind of got through that learning, really, I feel like I came out on the other side more confident in my skills that I can handle anything that walks through that hospital door. Yeah, and now that we've had a small taste of all of those skills, it gives us the opportunity to advertise that to eventual employers or eventual contracts that we might take and gain even more experience and training on those topics. So for example, I'm looking at one right now who wants the therapist to be able to do wound care. And I am able to say that I have some experience in wound care, but I'm also able to get extra training in wound care if I were to get this additional contract. So it's really cool how you can grow your skills like that. Another thing that we have noticed is that physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech therapists on the East Coast do things a little different than the people do on the west coast it's true and then in the middle is kind of like a hodgepodge where we're from <laughs> yeah and so it's cool that you get that opportunity to kind of bounce from coast to coast and learn new skills or learn a different way to look at you know maybe kinesio taping or a manual therapy skill uh and so that was really enticing for us to think about when we were new grads 
thinking about doing travel therapy. Probably one of the biggest factors that pushed us into travel therapy was also that we would make more money than we would at a permanent position. And so after looking around the area when we were just new grads to see, you know, what offers could we get as permanent therapists, it was looking like we were going to make around $65,000 a year. And that's not bad. Our area in St. Louis, Missouri has three big PT schools, so it's pretty saturated. Yeah. Um, so if you go a little bit more rural, that might go up. If you live in a different state like Nevada, then, then that salary goes up. But that's what it was for us. And so as we were looking at that... We were like, okay, 65 isn't horrible. We were expecting to make a little bit more. But then we learned that you got to pay your taxes. And so by the time you took out the taxes from that 65000 a year, it really looked closer to about 50000 And for us coming out of school as new grads and having way too much student debt each, um, that just wasn't going to cut it. And so we started looking into travel therapy, like how much more do they make? And what we found was that we were going to make around seventy to 75000 a year. But the kicker is, is that's with taxes already taken out. Mm -hmm. And so that is money in our pockets, really in our pockets and then back out to pay off our student loans. But that was a huge incentive and something you have to consider as a new grad and you're thinking about doing travel therapy, even if it is just for a short amount of time. So to wrap this whole idea up, what it really boiled down to for us was the risk-reward ratio. When we were evaluating travel therapy, we realized that the risk was really actually pretty low and the reward was pretty high. Worst case scenario, you go, you hate it, it's just 13 weeks, you stick it out, and then you come back home and you find a permanent job. So you can really do anything for 13 weeks. Most of your clinicals were about 5 to 10 weeks, so it's very comparable. And then you have the flip side of that coin, you have the reward. So the best case is that you love it, you are learning from different clinicians around the country, you're exploring new places that you would never see before, and you're maximizing your earning potential and earning more money than you would if you were at a permanent position. I think it's a good exercise to consider that worst case scenario because once you've considered it, you've kind of established it, you're like, this is as low as it can go. I can mm -hmm. get there, it sucks, mm -hmm. and then that's it you don't feel as nervous to hop in as a new grad. Right, we realized we really wouldn't lose anything by trying it. We would actually probably gain some character. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that is our video on why we chose to travel as new grads. We hope that you found it helpful. Please leave comments down below if you're considering traveling as a new grad or being new to the travel world we would love to talk with you answer any questions that you have get you connected to the companies and the recruiters that we trust to place us into good settings and locations that we know that we're going to love so you don't have that worst case scenario happen right so please contact us if you have any questions please like this video if it helped you out and subscribe for more educational videos to celebrate season two we're going to be giving away 50 new joint movement traveler stickers mm -hmm. to the first 50 people who comment on any of our videos that we publish in the time frame of october 25th to november 29th that's right. So all you have to do is comment hashtag joint movement traveler and fill out the survey on the link that's in our description so that we know where to send the sticker and you will have one right at your door. Yep. We'll mail it right to you. Yeah. So we're excited to do this. We wanted a way to get you guys involved and a way for us to see your adventures. So we would love if you continued using that hashtag, showing us where you're traveling to or showing us where our sticker is traveling to as well. Yeah. We really kind of want to create a clan, a group. And so we're inviting you to join. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Until next time. See ya. See ya.